counties in Oregon moving back to high risk, and that includes here in Multnomah County and Clackamas County. This is controversial. It means capacity in restaurants and gyms will shrink to just 25%. Bars and restaurants near Providence Park excited to see the return of the Thorns tonight, but now they have to follow those restrictions. So more people downtown is good for business, but those new restrictions are really putting a damper on all the excitement. Right, and our Lindsay Nadrich was able to speak with two businesses today about those big changes now in effect. And what else can you tell us, Lindsay? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, starting today, restaurants have to go back to 25% capacity for indoor dining. And on, on a day where they're expecting more customers, they tell me that's disappointing. The owners of the Cheerful Bullpen say it's been an extremely difficult year. They had to convert part of the bar into a store just to survive. The Thorns game typically brings in a big crowd, so to prepare, they stocked up on food and scheduled more employees. But now, because of the limited indoor dining capacity, they can only have 20 20 people at the most. So we now have overstock of food. I had to call off multiple staff. Um, so now more employees have our don't have employment tonight because of it. So it's just one more kick in the stomach. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm just a little disappointed. I honestly I don't think that our reduction of 25 people out here is going to make that big of a difference um, in terms of the safety protocols. The Goose Hollow Inn is also, also typically sees a lot of Thorns fans come in on game day. Their indoor dining isn't open yet, but they do have a large outdoor area, and the new restrictions means instead of 100 people, they can only have 75. The owner says losing 25 customers on game day can really impact their bottom line, especially after a year that's been so tough. Now, they figured out they were closed for about a third of the year, so they're really hoping people will continue to follow COVID restrictions restrictions so they can get back up to bigger capacity as soon as possible. Reporting live on Lindsay Nadrich, Coin 6 News.